Boys, girls, guys, girls, what is going on? My name is Lice Salty, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. If you have no clue what is going on, that means you are not following me over on my TikTok, tiktok.com, no, 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 no. tiktok.com slash slightly salty, because I posted a video a couple days ago announcing that we were going to be doing a Pokemon Pearl Hardcore Nuzlocke here over on YouTube. However, my Choose My Starter was actually over on TikTok. Why is this? Well, it, YouTube Shorts weren't out back then. Apparently, we just got YouTube Shorts out of nowhere. So, for like a short little video like that, the best place was TikTok. And it was like a one minute Choose My Starter episode. You guys can go check it out on my TikTok. Actually, you know what? I'll add it to the end of this video just so it's not in the way of the video. And yeah. But we had a Choose My Starter over on TikTok for this series. Our first solo series here back on YouTube. We haven't done solo series in a few months now. And the last two we did ended after like episode three because I did not enjoy doing them back then. But doing TikTok has brought back my love for solo series. And I forgot to turn off auto for focus on my camera. So it's it's randomly focusing it keeps trying to focus even though i turned off autofocus what is going on let's ignore that let's talk about the starter options that we had over on tiktok so it's a regular randomizer by the way so it's not an extreme randomizer typings are the same we had the option of dusclops for alligator and dodrio i posted three comments in the comment section on the tiktok video and you guys just blew up the likes on the for alligator post all of you wanted me to choose for alligator so let's choose for alligator the first one in our solo series for this first video i'm actually going to be taking names off of my tiktok series because that's where episode zero was however for the nicknames in the future videos i'm going to be taking them from the comment section on the previous video or on the maybe two videos ago because i'll probably record these ser this series two videos at a time because i'm doing two videos a week however however if you guys are showing a lot of support this well today this tuesday as well as the next episode over on uh, the next episode on thursday i will actually bump it up to three videos a week with that with the third one being on sunday so right now it's a Tuesday, Thursday series. However, it could become a Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday series if I feel like you guys are just showing an incredible amount of support. And yeah, we got to change the tech speed to fast because this is brutal. What else, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, the nicknames. So like I said, I'm going to be taking nicknames for this episode from the TikTok, epi uh, the TikTok episode. However... If you want to be nicknamed in this series, you got to comment down below. But I don't want to see just any other, any old comment. I don't want to just see like, yo, bananas. I don't want to see it. In order to be nicknamed, you are actually going to have to answer the question of the day. Today's question of the day, as you can see, it's right up there. It is, what is your favorite starter Pokemon and why? I know. This is a hard question. There has been so many amazing starters, and I'm not even sure if I have an answer for this, but I want to know your answer. So let me know what your favorite starter Pokemon is and why in the comment section down below. And if you want to add anything after that, like, oh my God, Salty, I love you. You can do that afterwards. But what is my favorite starter Pokemon? I got to say, one of my favorite starter Pokemon is actually Rowlet because of Decide You Why. Decidueye is just absolutely sick. It is probably my favorite newer starter. It's it's my favorite starter. It's my favorite starter. I was thinking like maybe Torchic and Blaziken because that was my favorite starter as a kid. However, no. It's Decidueye. And the funny thing is, my second favorite starter is probably Litten due to Toracat. Not even Incineroar. Incineroar is sick. But I actually like Torcat more than I like Incineroar. In all the Gen 7 starters, I actually, like, I would be, like, a Smash Bros. Pokemon trainer. Because my favorite of the Poplio line is Poplio. My favorite of the In Litten line is Torcat. My favorite of the Rowlet line is the Sajuai. I actually hate Dart Tricks, fun fact. Fun fact, I also almost named my YouTube channel after it. Because of my hate for it. 
but it was going to be like too much of a riff off a uh, rip off of ruffled rowlet um so i didn't go that route because it was going to be darting dartrix um and i thought that was clever and then i realized oh i only got that idea from ruffled rowlet who i didn't even watch that much all right let's talk about the rules of a hardcore nuzlocke a lot of you are wondering what is so different about a hardcore nuzlocke compared to a regular nuzlocke well the nuzlocke rules are you can only catch your first encounter on each route if a Pokemon dies, you must release it. And. Oh. Well, if a Pokemon dies. No, wait. You can only catch your first encounter on each route. If a Pokemon dies, you must release it. Oh, and you must nickname all Pokemon. Jesus. Wow, I forgot the rules of a regular Nuzlocke. Now, what are the extra rules in a hardcore Nuzlocke? Well, rule number one is you must battle on a set battle style. That's going to make things a lot more difficult. Rule number two, the second additional rule, is you cannot use healing items in battle. Actually, you cannot use items in battle, period. So, no status healers, no HP healers, no PP healers, or PP restorers. None of that. I think I have to go back in here, right? No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. So no held item, no item usage in battle. Now I can use held items. Held items are allowed. However, those are the only items allowed in battle. And the third and final additional rule in a hardcore Nuzlocke is why I'm blanking on it. Set battle style. Set battle style. No items in battle. Oh, I cannot over level. I could actually not go a higher level than the next gym's highest level. If my Pokemon does become a higher level than their highest level Pokemon, I cannot use that Pokemon anymore. I just can't use it. Actually, there's a fourth rule that I forgot about. This wasn't an official Hardcore Nuzlocke rule. I'm adding this in. Um, if a Pokemon joins your team, you cannot take it off. The only way it could leave your team is if it dies. So our first six Pokemon, cannot leave unless they die even if they absolutely suck they can't join they can't leave unless they die and no this isn't like our tiktok series we're not doing dares after each death we're not doing that here that's exclusive to tiktok that's like a cliff lock thing i credit purple cliff in my tiktok series a lot of people don't seem to realize that literally you look at the rules you look at the bottom of the rules it says purple cliff underneath that dare rule I don't get it. I don't get it. However, yeah, so those are all the rules. If you ever need a rule refresher, or I know I kind of like was a little all over the place with the rules, you can check down in the description. I listed all the rules there in a nicer, more organized way. That phrase wasn't even organized. Just welcome to the channel. Welcome to the YouTube. When I can't cut stuff out, which in case you haven't realized, I'm not cutting anything out of this series. A lot of you on TikTok have been asking me, do you have longer videos anywhere? And the answer is yes, here on TikTok. And especially in this series. This series is going to be a Tuesday and Thursday series, potentially Sunday. And it's going to be 20 minutes, no cuts. If it if there's a cut, it's because like I had to run to the bathroom and run upstairs. Now, time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Who, who are we going to name the starter after okay so i might have made a cut there too but that's only because i'm trying to find a nickname i think this is a pretty name for for alligator so we are going to name this thing chomper but yeah but i'm going to be grabbing nicknames from the first episode over on tiktok for this video however like i said all future nicknames are going to be from you guys in the comment section over here on youtube all you got to do is respond to the question of the day what is your favorite starter? Like I said, mine is Rowlet, also known, well, his final evolution, Decide UI. And the reason I like it so much is because when the TV show Arrow came out, I was a huge Green Arrow fan. So when that came out, I was like, oh my God, he's legit Green Arrow. Also the concept behind him. I think I keep pressing A and I don't need to be talking to this guy anymore. So I'm just going to spam B now. Uh, but yeah, also the concept behind Decide UI. Did you guys know that the reason that Decidueye is a ghost type is because the bird it's based off of 
is actually an, an extinct species to the um, Alolan region. Alolan? Hawaiian region? <laughs> Jesus. Um, so it's it was a... It was a species of owl native to Hawaii that is now extinct. So it's pretty cool. I think it was a really cool concept and I think it was a great way to go. I think that was also an amazing reason on why Decidueye is a ghost type. So like, I just love it so much. But now we got to talk to our mom and then we're going to get Pokeballs and it's going to be time to start the Nuzlocke. However, we can actually buy Pokeballs right now. So I'm going to do that because I want some encounters. We're going to buy 10 Pokeballs. We get an 11 for a Premier Ball. And then we're going to buy three potions. We can't use those in battle. But for after battles, they're going to come in clutch. Now, what can we do? We can go get encounters. That's what we can do. But first things first, I want to come down here. Because there is actually an item down here. And you never know what it could be. Ooh, a Luxury Ball. So no matter what, if I picked up this ball, our Nuzlocke would have began. So I'm glad I bought those Pokeballs. Because if I didn't, I only had one ball and then I went, yeah, I would have been screwed. Now we are going to get our first encounter, Route 201. What's our encounter going to be? It is a Amantine. I kind of lackluster, kind of lackluster. I, for some reason, get Mantines early on in every Sinnoh uh, series I do. Um, and I don't have the greatest catch rate with them. I just realized we never checked out our Froligator's, um, we never checked out our Froligator's ability, so we should do that. Uh, because it could be something so great, like that could have been huge power, and then I could have one-shotted the thing. Not actually. Glorfill, we're gonna boost our Pokemon speed in the sunshine. That's pretty good actually, because if we're in the sun, well, water type moves aren't gonna be as great in the sun. So that kind of sucks. But you know what? It's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Because we have other moves that we can use as well. Like if we get EQ, Froligator is a physical attacker. So that is one thing to keep in mind. So if we need... Um, we need to get good physical attacks on this man. Like Waterfall, the HM for Waterfall. That's actually perfect for this man. Because it's a strong physical water type move. We gonna catch it? Mm, not yet, not yet. We need a status mon. That's what we need. We need like a spore user or a T wave user, something like that. Can you lower our attack again? That way I can hit you with another scratch. Because I kind of want you. I just want another mon. We will have two water types if I catch this thing though, which isn't good. You know what? I could probably go for a Rage. A Rage isn't as powerful. And Rage builds up the more you get hit. So if I can use a Rage on this thing, it shouldn't kill it. should put it in the reds. Perfect. Because for some reason, Mantine has a low catch rate. Low catch rate? High catch rate? He's hard to catch. That's what I'm trying to say. By the way, I'm going to be keeping these videos around 20 minutes. If you guys like that, then let me know in the comments. Also, let me know if you want them to be longer. I would maybe consider going to 25, 30 minutes. Nothing more than 30. However, I think 20 is a really good like amount of time for a video. It's going to be twice a week. So like, even if you end up missing a couple episodes and then want to catch back up, you are still able to catch back up because they're only 20 minute videos. You don't have to waste an entire day trying to catch up. Like, you can watch three videos in an hour. So, it's great. Plus, you can put me on, like, 1.25 times speed to even speed it up faster and watch even more sooner. So, it's fantastic. I don't want to waste all my Pokeballs. I think this is going to be the last Pokeball I use on this thing. Because uh, we still have a lot more encounters. Mantine's not worth all these Pokeballs. So, um, I've thrown five at him. He's not staying in... We're going to leave. We're just going to kill him and take that free XP. And we're going to go for a scratch to kill. It kind of sucks that we're about to lose our first encounter so far in the series. But, like, it's wasting all our balls. 
like we have still two more encounters the route to the left the lake encounter then we have an encounter above and then once we get the fishing rod we could come back to our hometown get an encounter there go to the route below the professor's um area to get another encounter there like mm. the encounters are everywhere so it's not worth wasting my pokeballs on a mantine it's just not worth I should have just wasted the Pokeballs on the Mantine. Like, it's an Iggly buff. What are you going to do for me? Did I just kill you? No, I didn't. I'm not going to lie. I probably would have rather killing you. Your heart, my attack harshly lowered. I need you to charm me one more time in order for you to live. Another scratch. So let's just try a Pokeball. That's a one. Oh. Oh. Charm again. Sing. At least that gives us um, a status Pokemon. We could use Sing to put Mons asleep to make catching easier. So that's clean. That's clean. And we caught it. So not too shabby. And that is going to join our team until it dies. Because one of the rules is a Pokemon can't leave the team unless it dies. Who knows maybe it's got like a great a great ability or something let's see what am i gonna nickname this thing who who wants a nickname here who wants a nickname here we are gonna name this thing da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. I, I i don't know i don't know um Ooh, look, I'm looking through comments trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm looking to see if people's names or people's nickname suggestions would stand out to me. Um, just for like a really cool name for an Iggly buff. Um... That's another thing too. If you don't want to be, if you don't want the Pokemon to be named after your username, let me know in the comment what you want it to be named. I am gonna name it after this guy. I'm gonna name it after David. That's what we're gonna name it. We're gonna name Igglybuff David. Uh, nope, wrong button. Wrong button. David. I know David's gonna be a girl here. However. I really don't care about the genders when it comes to nicknaming Pokemon. And now Javen, uh, Javen, now David has joined the party. Let's check out David, see what its ability is going to be. Um, David has got the reckless ability, which powers up moves that have recoil damage. Um, that's useless for an ugly buff. Um, your stats are shit anyways. You're mostly going to be used as a um, Sing user to put Mons to sleep. That's pretty much what you're going to be used. We're going to talk to Mom. We're going to go do the catching tutorial. We're going to get another encounter. And then we're going to wrap up the video, I think. So, like I said, I'm just going to kind of go over the same stuff just so you guys know. I want you guys to know what's going on with this series. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays... A video will go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays. They will go live around. What am I thinking? 3 30, 4 o'clock. Let's say 4 p.m. 3 p.m. I'm going to put them live at 3 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays, there will be a new video live at 3 p.m. If I end up posting on Sunday as well, you can expect it anywhere between 1 to 3 p.m. Or let's say 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. Uh, on the weekends, I'm going to try to post it earlier. However, if I am stuck and don't have time to record, I'm going to push it back to 3 p.m. So latest you'll see it is 3 p.m. The earliest you'll see it is 10, 11 p.m. Uh, 11 a.m. 10, 11 a.m. Sorry. All right. I might also do some off-screen grinding for the team after I get this next encounter. Just so like everybody can be at a decent level 
coming in uh, to the next episode. Where in the next episode, we'll have more encounters. We'll probably battle our rival. This man's catching a Weedle. What's he using on this Weedle? Chimchar. Do you have Ember? Because if you have Ember, this thing's gone. I'm really interested to see if we are going to see, like, um, the Sinnoh starters now starting at level 5 with Ember, Absorb, and Bubble. I'm wondering if that's what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be something that we're going to have to wait and see for. But yeah, so that's when the videos are going to go live, Tuesday, Thursday. And like I said, you show support and they'll come out Sundays too. We could do like a like goal, I guess. Like if the video, if both videos get 10 likes each, I will for sure post it on Sunday. However, if I see the video, if I see the views are high, then I'll do it anyways. But 10 likes each on both videos and you are guaranteed Sunday episodes. We'll do that. 10 likes on episode one and 10 likes on episode two. And you'll get Sunday episodes every Sunday. That's what I'm doing. It's not every week we got to do that. No. Do it twice. And every Sunday you'll have an episode of this series. Um, and like I said, I already said about the comments. In order to get a comment, I'm going to check. Like I'm going to check either the video before or two videos before. This thing only has teleport. Does it only have teleport? I I, I can't risk it. It guarantee it has teleport. We are gonna try a luxury ball. Maybe. Mm, let's try luxury ball. I think this thing would look sick in the luxury ball. Let's try luxury ball. Let's see if it'll stay in. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, don't teleport, don't teleport, don't teleport, don't teleport, don't teleport. I think that's actually all it knows at that level. It might know confusion. But really, that sucks. Like I said, though, 10 likes on this video, 10 likes on the next video, and you are guaranteed a third episode every week on Sundays. If you want to comment... If you want a nickname for the Pokemon, answer the question of the day in the comments down below, as well as, like, you just gotta answer the question of the days, realistically. If you wanna add anything else to that, like how your day's been, it's great too. That's great too. I'll for sure, I've, I will for sure read the comments. So, yeah. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy episode one of the Pokemon Pearl Hardcore Nuzlocke. No, it's a little anticlimactic, but that's how it is at the beginning of the series. Like, we got a couple up, we got a couple encounters. I explained the rules. It is what it is. This is really just for you guys to see, like, the clean, uncut footage. This is essentially what it is for me, like, when I'm recording the TikTok series, just a lot less talking, realistically, because I don't have to talk all the time because it gets cut up. So, yeah. And I don't have the chance for you guys to really learn get to know me not learn get to know me in the tiktok series because it's all about the game essentially me making funny comments or something like that here i'll give you guys a chance to know me if you guys have any ideas for questions of the day let me know down below like if you have questions like you want to know about me like i don't know my schooling work life in general let me know what those questions are down below in the comments as well as long as with your answer to the question of the day. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll catch you Thursday for the next episode of the Pokemon Pearl Hardcore Nuzlocke. Stay salty.